Okay, welcome back guys, it's one half the British Fist, NJ, what's up? And I'm going to do a Smackdown review. But before I do, make sure you subscribe. Up above, like this video, and please leave your comments in the comment section below. And also, in the description box, you'll find where to contact us. Me and... Still not back. The other half of the British Fist is still not back. But anyway, let me get down to Smackdown. We start off with Dead All Along, baby. Saying that he's going to make a match between Orton and Mark Henry. Because basically, last week, it was Mark Henry who pinned Orton. Not Christian, so that's why Christian's not getting what he wants, which is basically a shot against Orton. But if Mark Henry beats Orton, then it, it, the along will either make a one on one match between Mark Henry and Orton or a triple threat by maybe adding Christian. With me, I'm still like Christian's had his shot, so and he's lost. He's lost again and again, so that should be him finished. Now onto the match. Orton versus Mark Henry with Christian banned from ringside. Okay, so we have Mark Henry who gets counted out after Big Show's music was meant to be played. And with the word on the street, it was Christian who had been walking out of the... Recept uh, the you know the music box, <laughs> weird name to call it. But I just couldn't get the name. And and as Mark Henry tries to get back in the ring, he gets RKO'd and in goes Orton for the win. So it looks like that Deal Along is not going to be able to make the triple threat match that they the triple threat or the single match that they they was hoping for until later tonight. Then. We get Daniel Bryan versus Ted DiBiase. Daniel Bryan versus Ted DiBiase, and I'm I'm like, okay. The thing is that you get some good spots from Ted DiBiase, but he he's just been buried and buried more and more. Because basically, Daniel Bryan wins by a submission move, and and that's it basically. The match itself, again, there weren't much to it, I, would, I wouldn't say. But you could see Daniel Bryan kicking most of the ass and some good spots from Ted DiBiati. That was it. Not a lot to say there. Cody Rhodes is saying that you've lost to a common man, Daniel Bryan, backstage. And Cody Rhodes is really, really hitting it hard on Ted DiBiati, but none of his words seem to be working. Ted DiBiati is staying exactly where he is and he's not doing any better. And then we get this uh, little board. I'm gonna, not going to too much detail about this because it weren't important. Jinder Mahal just says that, uh, no, uh, Rajan Singh says that Jinder Mahal is jealous of Kali. That's why he's here. That's why he's saying all this stuff. This is why he's making, well, that's why he's trying to have a connection with Kali. But the thing is, as much as he's jealous, you've got to be scared of him. He's a one-man wrecking machine. He's going to be... Well, not one man anymore, because he's with Carly. But let's see. Let's hope good things come from them. Another thing I want to pick up on is... The next match. Sin Cara versus Christian. And there's been this thing going around saying... Sin Cara is undefeated. Okay. <laughs> Christian is an ex and maybe future World Heavyweight Champion. And you see him at the beginning of this match running away from Sin Cara on various moves. He's not doing very good for your future World Heavyweight Champion, is it? Running away from Sin Cara, a new guy. But the match itself, it got better as it went along. At first, I was like, 
Oh, a bit slow, but the match did actually get better quite a lot uh, as it went on. I quite enjoyed it. I give it a thumbs up. And the thing is, the thing I was laughing about earlier was Christian Spear. One, two, three, and Sinkawa flipping loses. I have a don't know what I'm thinking about that because I was really hoping Sinkawa would lose to someone that he's actually going to be in a future rivalry with. I do not think we're going to have a Christian as a Sinkar rivalry in the near future. So I don't know what they're thinking there, but whatever. Uh, talking about matches that I don't really agree with. Uh, Cody Rose defeats Zeke Jackson with the help of Ted DiBiazzi to re relive or redo his mis loss he had earlier and I'm like Zeke really I know there were much of the people he could have faced but Zeke's becoming this new international champion he's becoming a man on his own and it makes sense that he lost with the distraction of Ted DiBiazzi or I think from what I saw, Zeke would have dominated Cody and finished the match. But I just kind of think that that match maybe could have gone on longer and had a bit more, a bit more Zeke and Ted. Not a future rivalry or anything like that. I'm just saying Zeke dominate or attacks Ted just to make it more like Zeke doesn't look too outplaced because he's managed to take on. The next, uh, the core, sorry, on his own. But when it comes to just two people, I don't know. Just, I just weren't feeling that. I just didn't really like it that much. Ah, oh, dear, dear. Talk about not liking him too much. Johnny Curtis. Gah! He's not even had his debut match. He keeps letting us know, and I don't like him. I just don't like him. Cur Johnny Curtis. Just get yourself in the debut match and flip and lose. But most people win their debut matches. Most of not. But I'm just not liking Johnny Curtis. Take him away. Please, please, please. Then we get... Oh, this, this brings me to a good topic. Video packages. Throughout the night, we've had video packages of uh, Sin Cara. Oh, Ray Mysterio, Daniel Bryan, the Raw one, which we do get announced that Vince is going to be at Raw to address what CM Punk did. Yes, Vince again, bringing him back for his last few moments before he steps out for good. And then we have a video footage of Kane during his match against Wade Barrett. And I've always said that these two can put on a good fight, so I quite like this. I liked it, but at the same time, as the match went on, you get to see dominant Wade, you get to see dominant Kane. No, nothing wrong about that. That was good to see. But the thing is, I, again, I'm not going to complain or bash it too much because it had its good points. Kane picked up the victory. Yes, go Kane, you're doing good. It's all adding up to that Money in the Bank match that you have at Money in the Bank. Yeah, yeah. And at the same time, Wade's now going on his own. He needs to start having his wins. He needs to start looking like a dominant single wrestler. But I'm not going to complain too much because I'm a, I like Kane. Having Kane win matches after his flipping losing streaks and stuff he had, I'm going to give it a thumb, one thumbs up. Go Kane. But hopefully, after tonight, after this SmackDown, we'll see Wade Barrett continue to grow, continue to dominate continue to be this one man wrestler that is going to do good on Smackdown which we all want to see now brings on to contract signing between Randy Orton and Christian yeah I can't do high pitch voice very well <coughs> <laughs> okay the contract that Christian is giving Orton to sign has the one little floor or little thing in it which says that 
the referees cannot screw Christian or he'll get his rematch straight after. Okay, he's done it quite clever there. Then they go back on the for forward saying, Christian saying, Oh, I can beat you. I had you pinned down, I can get you down. You can't beat me. And Orton saying, You're making me angry. I am going to beat you and retain my World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, that was meant to be the belt, but whatever. <laughs> and as Orton signs, Christian signs, who comes up behind? Seamus, and he rips up the contract. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I was saying, okay, we're going to see another Orton versus Christian match. But it looks like now, Seamus wants to be involved. So are we going to get a triple threat next week? Are we going to get a fatal four way by maybe bringing Mark Henry back to the picture? I don't know, but it'll be much better than having a singles match at the pay per view. I'm hoping that they have a triple threat or a fatal four way. And what a return for Seamus. Just in a week before the pay per view gives him enough time to maybe do something next week to make him look better for the match if they do decide to put him in but yeah overall I've had different thoughts of Smackdown I'm gonna say that we're gonna Ort Orton Christian hopefully that's gonna get better Ted DiBiazzi the thing is people are getting shit on in, in on Smackdown like Ted DiBiazzi yeah he might not be the best wrestlers but has he really got to lose every week like you had Zeke lose to Cody. I'm not saying that's a bad thing because there's some people that w would love that, but I'm just saying that Zeke could have maybe, as I said earlier, took out both of them and still someone managed to lose if they were going to go down that path. Johnny Curtis, fuck off. Christian losing to Sinkara. I don't know what to think about that. I'm not happy with it because I think Sin Cara should have lost to someone else. Kane Wade. It was a decent match. So I'm not going to bash that anything too much. But anyway, as I've already said all that in my video, leave your comments about Smackdown in the comment section below. And I'll make sure I blog again soon. Oh yeah, as he's not here to, do it, to tell me to do it, I'll give you one more. What's up? Goodbye, guys.